Uh, Nia Sayo, thank you for watching our presentation video. We are from the Hansen University of Hong Kong. I'm Tiffany. They are my teammates. Dr. Winnie Chen is our advisor. We are Creative Vision. Today, we are going to decode the secret behind Donkey's global success. Here is the presentation outline. To begin with, let's watch a soft video that features the grand opening of Donkey's store in Singapore. Also known as Donkey, which is a Japan brand specialist having a number of stores worldwide. It has pursued rapid global expansion despite COVID. What makes this retail giant bustling with customers in the epidemic haze? This is the quote from Donkey's founder, Takao Yasuda. Highlights the spirit of Donkey, make customers happy and respond to new challenges and opportunities. Here is the dog history of Donkey. The timeline shows how it has transformed it from a small grocery store with 60 square feet to wholesale store and opened the first store of Donkey. Singapore and Hong Kong are the prime target markets. In 2021, Donkey has earned 50 billion yen in Asian market, which is double than the previous year. I'm Colin. Here is the swap analysis that we conducted for Donkey. Firstly, for the strength, Donkey has a strong brand image of the Japan's brand specialty store and unique store layout. Donkey is famous for its wide variety of both food and non-food products, such as fast food, daily consumables, and other items. However, there is a new indicator that Donkey's left its employee salary besides making a profit of about 200 million Hong Kong dollars in Hong Kong last year, which may negatively affect its company image. Due to COVID, people cannot travel to Japan. Customers go to Donkey instead. It creates a lot of business opportunity for Donkey. Currently, the pandemic situation is improving. Japan starts to relax travel restrictions to tourists. People can travel to Japan and shop again. Donkey may become less popular than before. It poses a threat to Donkey's business. I'm Alpha. We identify three major turning points of Donkey. The first one is transferring from Leafs Market to 24 hour store. The founder, Yasuda, is new to business. So he began the enterprise with low resources at all. Supplier reject his request for the product, while customer have low interest in his shop. You may then ask, what can he do to solve the problem? One night, a customer dropped up by the leaves market. Yasuda discovered that the customer at night uh, focused on more gimmick and vibes. Of course, he sponsored this business opportunities and extend the shop's opening hours to midnight. As a result, this market gained popularity, sold the franchise, and even transformed the business model to wholesale. However, the success and novelty of this market didn't last for so long. The second major turning point is creating a treasure hunt for favorable merchandise. To solve the problem, he tried to think out of the box. He bought many strange goods at a broken price and sold them at a lower price. If you have visited Donkey before, you may feel that you have a treasure hunt feeling because goods is are stuck in the compressor space for customers to discover themselves. At that time, he unexpected to create a unique a new shopping environment. Last but not least, the third and the most recent turning points is rapid global expansion. Donkey relies heavily on the tourism revenue, but the outbreak of COVID caused the lockdown all around the world. Donkey was trapped in a whirlpool. Therefore, they started to expand its business overseas as the graph in the middle show. 
finally, it comes with four major results and survive in the pandemic and even be the leader of the world. Thank you. Thanks, Alfred. Now I will explain the four success factors leading Donkey's global success. First of all, Donkey offers a deep and wide product assortment. It sells low-priced Japanese products from food and drinks to living products. There are sections of sushi counter and restaurants selling freshly made Japanese food. With its high popularity in overseas markets, local people and tourists prefer shopping at Donkey for its convenience, accessibility, and discount. The second success factor is experiential retail marketing and sensory branding. Physical retail spaces of Donkey create immersive and memorable shopping experience to engage customers and let them to feel the brand besides browsing products. It grabs the opportunity to reach shoppers' hunger for interesting and low-priced goods. More importantly, Donkey stores also engage five senses to affect consumers' perception and buying behavior. Its catchy theme song, Miracle Shopping, builds emotional connection with customers. The third success factor is innovative business culture. Donkey has the distinct capabilities to think outside the competitive box. The figure here illustrates the framework of Donkey's innovative business model. New markets, new types of com competition, and new business design are emerging. Donkey demonstrates strategic thinking outside the box. Unlike traditional retail stores, Donkey is famous for a compressed display. As you can see the picture on right hand side, it adopts disorder and a random selection layout of products, which, of, which was the first in the market. The messy store layout drives customers to have fun for treasure hunting. Besides, Donkey has discovered that the lifetime demand for 24-hour shopping could be very profitable because of changing consumer lifestyle. This practice illustrates its diversified business model of Donkey. It is a breakthrough to make Donkey superior to the other competitors. The last success factor I would like to mention is delegation of authority for employer empowerment. Yasuta came up with an idea of decentralization and started the personal store owner system, delegating the authority to order, display, and sell goods to his subordinates. In this way, each employee is motivated to think about how to market, sell, and display, just like running their own business. Thanks, Tiffany. I think many of you may agree that Donkey did a really great job even under pandemic, right? Adolf Donkey currently results in great success. Based on our in-depth analysis, Donkey is facing three major challenges that affect the company moving forward and sustaining business growth. The first challenge is insufficient manpower and negative publicity. As we mentioned earlier, employees play very significant roles in Donkey's success with its decentralized management. It is hard for Donkey to recruit high-quality employees. Recent news about cutting employees' work despite making a profit in Hong Kong last year has generated negative publicity and worsened the situation. The second challenge is weak inventory management. According to the report, Donkey's current inventory management with shipment delay issue not only affects the sustainability of supply, but also affects the quality of goods like fresh or ready-made goods. Another crucial factor that posed a threat to Donkey is intense competition. There are already a lot of competitors selling Japanese products in the market, and the market is highly competitive. Here is the quote from Mr. Hanawa, Donkey Company was renamed as Pan Pacific. To respond to those three challenges, we have made three recommendations to improve the situations. For manpower and publicity issue, it is better for Donkey to optimize its human resource model, providing attractive career development program to attract new talents to join the team. For inventory issue, independent supply chain system reduce the reliance on third party. Donkey will therefore have a better control on manufacturing and inventory management. That helps Donkey to create a competitive advantage. 
and for competitions issue, Donkey is suggested to think out of the box, create new value, and deliver superior value to customer. We have applied strategic marketing concept to make recommendations. Donkey is seeking continuous growth and long-term development. Through Blue Ocean strategy, we suggest Donkey to raise a deep product assortment, reduce attractive pricing, eliminate special promotion days, and raise global presence. Therefore, Donkey will be able to create digital transformations. The significance of the study, including donkey unconventional business practice and unique marketing philosophy contribute significantly in business practice. The case study generates valuable insights to retelling firms into expanding the current market and surviving during difficult times. The decisions provide managerial and practical implications for business leaders in Asia. It also serves as insightful teaching materials for students. And we have learned valuable lessons from donkey strategy. The key points are summarized as below. Discover new opportunities and respond to threats. Open your mind and think outside the box. Navigate change in dynamic business environments. Know your customer and employees and innovate faster and better than your competitors. To conclude, the implementations of this case study can inspire and encourage future entrepreneurs and business leaders, as well as students. It is important for everyone to keep with an ever-changing environment. More important, the findings have rounded our horizons and developed strategic insights. Donkey's case study contributes significantly to business practice and strategy. The story provides a rewarding lesson on life learning and gain a fruitful learning experience. And we are proud to present the case study today. Here is the reference list. And once again, thank you for your time. And we are now open the floor for questions.